high water signs. It's Joe from Angels and Ancestors. And darling, I'm really sorry. I'm late doing your July reading. So I'm going to make this for the rest of July. And I promise you, you will be one of the first people to be done for August. So look out for that. Um, please like, share and subscribe if you like what I do. This is your Law of Attraction reading um, for July 2022. Um, for those of you that have not been here before, massive big welcome to you. Um, just to give you a quick run through, this isn't so much as a tarot reading as it is a guide to the Law of Attraction and the possibilities of what it is that you're manifesting and how you can do some cleansing and clearing bringing yourself into that loving relationship with yourself, having the attitude of gratitude, using affirmations regularly, looking at your destiny and your happiness and your resistance. So we start off with an energy card. We move to manifestation, storytelling, resistance, cleansing and clearing, inspiration, loving yourself, gratitude. And this is your happiness card. This is your affirmation card. This is your destiny card. So, darlings, let's get started. And we have got, for your energy card, oath, promise, pledge, contract. It's a number 22. A 22 in numerology is a prime or a soul number. It is usually around creativity. So is there a promise or a pledge for you to become more creative? If you look at her headdress and look at her dress, perhaps there's a wedding around you. Perhaps there is a promise, an engagement. Um, perhaps there is some, perhaps somebody is getting married and you're being really creative with um, the wedding favours or the wedding dresses or something to do with that celebration or a similar celebration it could be an anniversary and a big one or it could be a birthday but whatever it is it's oath pledge and contract now contracts can also not just be around marriage it can be a promise it can be a contract of business there could be the marrying of two businesses coming together it could be the marrying up of yourself to a new job role so just keep that in mind when you're thinking about your current energy so your manifestation dream or wish fulfilled make make a wish or manifest speak or write what you want ask believe and receive and you've got the eight of water now in other decks the eight of water would indicate that you have got a little bit of maybe self-restriction going on or maybe a little bit of confusion about where you go next in this deck it's slightly different instead of the sun shining on you the moon has got your back the dog things are playing behind you and the palm of your hands are open to suggestion for what is in your higher purpose your third eye is open your ch chakras are in alignment and ready to receive and with an open palm you are ready to receive that inspiration those thought processes the emotion and maybe even it is around manifesting a new love connection i'm pr pretty sure that dolphins make for life um, perhaps it is a life partner you're looking for um, but definitely you are in a really good place there is no doubt in your head that you are open to receiving what it is that you are manifesting and wishing for subscribing be your own author tell your story if it is if it's happened give it feeling or emotion you're the queen of air little bit of procrastination may be going on perhaps you're thinking of scribing but not really sure how to get it started use your wisdom from writing a letter write yourself a letter to yourself about what it is that you want what it is that you dearly hold to your heart if it is about love and meeting somebody 
when you are scribing try to keep it open do not try to be too specific um, I know we've all got types and that but try not to be specific around a name or a particular person try and put all the attributes down that you like about that person what it and it, you know you can have height you can have color of eyes all of that sort of thing but what it's telling you is be open to the possibility and write down or someone better open yourself up to the possibility she's a thinker she goes through scenarios and then she uses her knowledge and her wisdom to cut out what no longer serves her. Um, and it could be that the person that you're manifesting is in actual fact not your life partner at all. And they are trying to teach you with the queen coming in that you now need to release that and understand that if you put or someone better, that you are not going against somebody else's free will by trying to force them into a situation of being with you. And I'm going to give you a scenario on this. I watched somebody else around manifestation, and I'd been watching her for a little while, young girl. I felt she was doing really well until she said, and at this point I listened to it so I could give you this advice. She said that she attracted somebody into her life, somebody that she'd seen, that she wanted, that was quite high profile um, in the TV industry. And when she got them into her life, she changed and moulded them into the person that she wanted them to be and then decided that she didn't like them and got rid of them. Uh, what is the point in that? If you are trying to attract somebody, be careful that they are the person that you want in your life. Be careful that they are your wish fulfillment. Because when you are putting feeling and emotion behind this attraction, um, and you go after someone specific, they come with warts and all. Do not try to change somebody. It is not your job. People are not broken in their own worlds. They may be broken in yours. They may not come up to scratch in yours. But do not try to change another person. It is not fair. And it is certainly not fair to attract somebody that you are physically attracted to. But then decide that you don't like their personality and try to mould them into something or somebody else it is not an on thing to do and the reason her relationship with this person failed is because she tried to attract somebody into her life against their free will realized they weren't the person she thought they were on the tv screen so tried to mold them into what she wanted and then it all went wrong anyway so be careful when you are scribing that you are describing the person or the item that you want. Now, I have to say, if it's a car, I was very specific. I wanted a white car, black alloy wheels, leather interior. It had to be this road tax, that insurance, this petrol mileage or diesel mileage. All of those things, and I got exactly what I wanted. Exactly. She's a beautiful car, love her to pieces. However, when it comes to a person, you have to understand free will and you mustn't play that off against somebody else's free will and their choice to come to you or not. Um, and it was very likely that on the cards that that was not on the cards for those two to be together and that's why it was a disaster. Um, the thought of having to mould somebody or change somebody into the person that you actually want, what is, what is, what is so much energy. And I have to say it's low vibrational energy. It's not high vibrational energy. Because if that person had come into your life and they were what you wanted exactly, you would just compliment each other the whole time. There would be no need for you to get the ump with them. There would be no need for you to mould them. There would be no need for you to change them because 
there would be acceptance from both sides that you have got good, bad and indifferent within both of your energies. It's as simple as that. So when you're putting feeling behind this, darlings, and you're using that term, or somebody better, allow the universe the room to find that somebody or someone better. Uh, to put that energy in on your behalf. And it may be somebody comes up that is completely and utterly opposite to the people that you're attracted to. But the universe and the divine, they're the ones that do know better. So my darlings, your restriction card, you have the hedge witch, the number five, herb wisdom secrets and hidden lore. Um... Now, a hedge witch is a creature, a beautiful person, a human being that lives on the edge of villages and towns. And people very often go to them for um, storytelling. They go to them for tarot readings. They go to them for herbal remedies. Um, now, the reason that they're saying herb wisdom is because they hold all of that wisdom. They usually know... What ails you has got a cure within nature. Secrets. When it comes to the secrets and the hidden law, hidden law is hidden stories. Hidden law is ancient stories that have got lost. But secrets, those deep-rooted secrets, what is? The, and I have to say that we've all got them water signs this isn't exclusively to you but there are some secrets that we bury deep and we prefer not to go there but what they're saying is is that that is part of your resistance of acceptance of others and the hidden law the hidden agenda from the divine from the universe is not coming to you because you're not as open as you think you are in your manifestation you're saying all the right things in the right place but when it comes to scribing and this could be the procrastinating bit when it comes to the scribing and you don't know how to start you don't know where to start it's because you're fixated on one thing because the secrets and the hidden law behind you has put you in a place where you need to protect yourself and that's fine but it's not fine for you then to turn round um, and try to attract somebody into your life that there isn't any intention for them to be with you. So just know, if you're going to stand in the energy of the hedge witch and look at resistance, the number five, it's temporary. It is temporary. It is you learning your craft. It is you learning to let go of the need to keep secrets it is you that is unraveling hidden law ancient law that's what it's all about so your resistance could be that you have more to learn you have more to grasp before you are going to be ready to start scribing that doesn't mean that you can't do your manifestations of course you can you just need to put them out there. You need to either get a dreaming, dream ball together with pictures on about what it is that you want. But try not to be so specific about a particular person that you've got in mind. Um, and if you are absolutely bound and determined to use that person's name, remember to put or someone better. So we're going to move on to your cleansing and your clearing. Make way for the new. Oh God, have you got this down to pat? Water signs. This is the Ace of Pentacles in other decks. The One of Earth. This beautiful dragon comes in and shows his plumage, his growth in what he is doing. This is changes around you. Can you see this little tree in the middle here that's just rooted and beginning to grow in the heart space and what it's saying to you is there is growth around you and um, with the ace of pentacles it is usually around career money and home life and a combination of those three things 
Um, but it is definitely saying that you have cleared and cleansed away enough debris and data for you to move into the next cycle of your life, which is around home life, career and family. And like I said, a combination of all of those, because if you change your job, to get more money, it is likely that it's going to affect your home life, whether you've got to move to be able to achieve this, whether you're going to be away from home for long periods of time, all of that sort of thing needs to be taken into account. But you have cleansed and cleared beautifully. You've got rid of the bullshit and the data that you needed to get out of the way for this new um, offer to come in towards you. So, my darlings, listen to inspiration and then action them. You've got the counsellor. Now, the counsellor is the Knight of Water. Normally, for me, he is the apologiser. He is the one that's coming in or going out with an apology. Now, this is a slightly different card. Here's the counsellor. He counsels people through their problems and their issues emotionally. Um, it is nothing to do with having an apology ready but it is everything to do with being inspired to offering people the benefit of your accumulated knowledge and wisdom around emotions you're the triple face of the moon you're the beautiful whales resonating that beautiful song all the way through the water and you've got this counselor saying come on i'm ready to listen i'll listen you talk you will answer your own questions and that's the inspiration i'm getting that you're feeling is this pull towards doing something with other people it could be healing it could be counseling it could be um coaching um it could be tarot reading whole host of things but i am getting that you've cleansed and cleared away this debris this data um and you've listened to the inspiration and you are about to action something quite huge for yourself. And not only is it going to be a shift in being able to earn better money, but it's going to be a shift in you being able to do what you would do best and what you're going to love. So the I love you, loving you first. The three most powerful words in the world, say them often and start with you. And then let the love flow to others. And yes, in your head is fine. You're the 11 of fire, masculine and feminine. There is a balancing act for you to know that there is both male and female within every human being on the planet. Some of us favour one particular, either the feminine or the masculine, more than we do the other, maybe in equal terms. But it does tell you that there is passion and desire within yourself to portray some magic in moving out blockages, in moving out the need to even be in competition with the masculine and the feminine and finding that beautiful harmony within yourself, loving yourself embracing the masculine and feminine side of yourself to bring yourself into balance so how can you do that well find something you like about yourself rather than something you don't like about yourself go to the mirror what is it have you got pretty feet have you got pretty ankles are your knees very pretty compared to other people i've got lovely hands have you got a lovely face a nice smile focus on that one thing and then see how that one thing fits with the rest of your body. And I know that's very physical, but if we learn to love ourselves in the physical form, it is much easier then to love ourselves within ourselves, our heart space, our chakras, our soul space, loving our minds and what it, how it is that we think and how it is that we feel. But I'm getting the... As rudimentary it is, you've got a passion and desire to actually start saying, I love you to yourself more often. This is the equivalent to the Page of Wands, 
he comes in with a wand that magically moves blockages out of the way and I am getting that you are more than capable of moving this blockage out of the way for yourself. You do not need somebody else to be doing this for you. So my lovelies, moving on, to be thankful for everything from the smallest thing to the largest blessing and you are doing that with panache and style with yourself showing up in the reading the queen of water now she's i know she's got the crab and there everybody's been screaming oh that's cancer it's not just cancer she is for all the signs she has got the moon above her head in a headdress she has got magical turtles swimming around she's got the crab just at the base here she has the magic of allowing letting things flow she has the ability to show other people how to heal the beautiful components of what water does to heal of how it flushes things away how it goes with the flow and allows tidal waves to come in pick up an issue and a problem and take it back out for it never to return to the shores in the same shape again she's also the queen that gets you to understand to fulfill your wants and needs first means that you will fulfill the wants and needs of those nearest and dearest to you those that you love around you there is an understanding that is needed here that in order for you to allow love to flow from yourself with this passion and this desire and to have face the gratitude of being able to do that you need to be able to fill your chalice up first with all your wants and your needs and then become grateful now with the queen of water she's also a queen of diversion that doesn't mean she doesn't deal with her issues and problems but she deals with them in a slightly different way she's non-confrontational for a start of so when you get up in the morning and you're looking out of that window and you're appreciating the sunset just let the attitude of gratitude flow over you as it does over the queen of water understand that when you come down the stairs and you put that kettle on that there should be a gratitude for whatever it is that the drink you're making from the person that produces the tea or the coffee to the person that gets the water to your faucet fauc or your tap uh, for the electricity company as expensive as it is let's be grateful that we have that ability in our lives uh, because it makes life that much easier so the attitude of gratitude starts with you it starts with the little things, the little incidental things, and builds the big thing. We can all be grateful for the roof overhead. We can all be grateful for the car we drive. But do we really see beyond what it is that's right in front of us? Do we say that there is a whole industry that needs to be thanked for how they help us live our lives? Because that's what it is, it's assistance. It's in the chain of gratitude. It's the understanding that one thing links to another. And that's why she is saying to you, allow the flow to happen. Allow the gratitude flow to happen around you. So even the moment we are in a bloody heat wave in the UK, um, and I have to say there's a lot of frayed tempers out there. There's a lot of people that are being a bit pissy and a bit shitty. Um, just allow it to flow over you. Don't take it on board. Just allow to do what you do naturally, water signs. And that is to divert your attention to something else. It is not important at the moment. What is important is that you get into this absolute place of balancing yourself with passion and desire and then allowing that flow of gratitude to just wave over you it is a beautiful reading darlings so we're going to go to your affirmation talk about you and your life and what you want in positive terms don't be tempted to use but can't won't if buts and maybes 
they cancel your dreams and wishes. Got another flow card. In comes the Eight of Fire. Now in other decks, this is defensive, this is all that sort of stuff. Not in this card. This is a beautiful angel who is just fanning the flames. And as she does it, she dances around. She gets the cinders going. She understands the need for passion and desire. And she is saying to you that your affirmation should be that. I understand the flow of passion and desire as I understand the flow of water. What a beautiful affirmation is that. Please rewind if you want to use it because I never remember them. Your destiny, create the one that you want. You can weave any destiny that you want. And here we have the Ace of Water. Or the one of water. He's beautiful. Look at that Celtic knot right in the heart chakra. The Ace of Chalices tells us in normal decks that we need to fill a chalice for ourselves. It's a single chalice on its own. There's not two people normally in the picture. It's one person. And it tells us, fill the chalice for yourself. Sorry, darling, I got interrupted by a phone call. So we were talking about the one of water. Filling your chalice for yourself with all your wants and needs, your wishes, your dreams and then let the flow from that cup overflow, let the water flow, let the heart juices flow out and that will naturally go to other people and um, the Ace of Chalices feeds other things, it feeds the love that you have for other people and it lets your light shine brighter which means it's also an attraction card. Um, so the last card that we've got on the table is the happiness from within card and you have Freya, abundance, peace and contentment. Uh, if this is what you're seeking, this is what you're going to get, it's a number 23, uh, broken down it's a number 5. Um, but for me, this is, doesn't indicate a five for me. This kind of indicates stability, abundance. It indicates um, that you're happy with what it is that you are building around you, weaving your own life, weaving and storytelling your own life as it unravels. Um, what is coming towards you, the happiness that you are seeking, is the abundant peace and contentment but coming down the middle with oath the promise the pledge and the contentment I do get a sense that maybe that that promise and that contract has eluded you or it's gone wrong for you and um, don't then think that you have got to keep secrets and hold back about your life and why things have upset you because if you open up with vulnerability to the universe, to your divine, they will ensure that you will get this abundance, peace and contentment that you so desperately want in your life. Beautiful reading. I have to say, and I'm really sorry I forgot to light your candles. Um, beautiful reading. I look forward to reading for you again at the beginning of August. Take care, water signs. Bye for now.